What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in the Crew Wild Run and a lot of you guys were requesting this game to come back and I'm very happy to be back in this game and I actually just got a reward for the Extreme, uh, ex I believe it's called the uh, Extreme Starter Kit for the um, Drift Spec and so we're going to put that, we're going to stick that on the BRZ and see what happens. Now, nothing to buy in this category. I guess I just like, I went into the menu and I applied it so I guess I just like... I guess you just apply it, basically. So... I guess we just apply it, and while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and just change the color. Because I just kinda wanna... Have a little bit of a change of pace with this car. That purple's actually quite cool. I actually really like that. I actually think that looks really nice. We're gonna go with the purple. I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be people in the comments that are gonna not like that, but... Wow, that looks really cool. Let's see, unlock new performance parts, blah, 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 and so now I think, I'm pretty sure we've got the extreme spec now on this car, I just clicked which one I wanted to apply it to, and I think we're good to go, and if the, uh, if the new, uh, new parts, not new parts, but, um, new objective icon is gone from the, uh, from the, from the drift tuner, then I suppose we'll, we'll have it on the car, I suppose that'll mean we've got it on the car, so, let's go ahead and get out of the, into the world and see what happens. Now, after we verify that, uh, verify what we've done to this car, I do want to go ahead and head down to the next Summit Qualifier. Because the next Summit Qualifier is down in Miami, and we haven't been down to that area at all yet. It's pretty drifty. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to feel if there's any difference, uh, from before. Let me go to the map and see if it's gone. It still says there's something new there. But I'm not sure how you would actually, like... I'm not sure how you would get to it. But it's gone from, like, the main thing now, so... I'm not sure. Let's go to the, um... Let's go to the airport. And we're actually, like... We're basically right there. We just gotta turn around and drive to it. Or really, we're already on the same road. So we can just drive up there and fly down to Miami. And, uh, and check out the next... Check out the next Summit Qualifier. And hopefully do a whole lot better than we did last time, because the last time we did it, I mean, it was alright, but our drifting level was nowhere near what it is now, and, or at least our level of skill. Now, keep in mind, I haven't played in a couple of days, so I will need to re-familiarize myself with the drift physics just a little bit, but it shouldn't take me that long to kind of get back into it and get myself back to where I was. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and enter the airport. And from here... We will head to Miami. Now, the cool thing about where the Miami airport is actually located is the fact that we are very, very close to um, to Sebring, and we're also very close to the Everglades, which is where the um, which is which is where the next summit qualifier is held. So we've got a couple of different things that we can go and do right off the bat when we get there that are both really, really fun. Now, are are we gonna go? We'll, we'll go to we'll go to Sebring later. But the first place we're going is definitely, uh, definitely going to be the Summit Qualifier and ch going to check it out. So, set our, wow, they're both super close. Let's see, earn your access pass. Hmm, one of one, free drive challenge is one. Free drive stunts. Uh, you know what? Let's try... Let's say free drive stunts and let's see what happens. Meet the objective. Shift up. Oh my god, it's not shifting up. No crashes allowed. It won't shift out of first gear. I'm seriously, I'm shifting up right now and it will not shift out of first. That's ridiculous. Okay, now it finally did. Now it's shifting. That's weird. Stay clean. Oh dear. It's hard with the drift spec car too, because you're like, whoop. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Come on. Not too bad. If we can do this flawlessly, that'd be legit. Just flawless in one run. Little slide. 
What was that? Why did it count it as a crash? What was it? What, what did I hit? I don't know, maybe since I went over the roadway or something, it counted it as a hit? I'm not sure. Oh dear. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Here, let's head this way. Get out of that airport area. Oh, oh god! That's not worked. <laughs> that hasn't worked at all. Maybe going the way that, the same way that the traffic is going would help us a little bit. It's quite a bit faster than a stock BRZ. It really... Dang it. Whoa, okay. That didn't, like, reset anything. N none of those did. That's brilliant. God, it's so much faster than a standard BRZ. It's ridiculous how much faster it is. The road network down here is insane. Stunt one. All right. I mean, I guess we were the only ones doing it, but still. Waiting for next stunt. Reach 87 miles an hour for 15 seconds on the right side of the road. May want to get back on the highway for that, but let's see if we can do it right here. Don't really need to boost up for that. I mean, 87 isn't really all that fast. So, oh, we're almost there already. Uh, no! Oh my god! Stay on the proper side of the road. Tell you what, we're gonna turn around. We're gonna turn around and go back the other way because it'd be much easier if, a, like, with a decent amount of room. All right, go, 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 go. I mean, we won it, but <laughs> again, we were the only ones in competition there. Oh my god. Monster truck coming out of nowhere. Near miss 21 cars on the wrong side of the road. This will work for that. Okay, we hit the first car we came to. That's, that's lovely. Good, good. I'm not sure what their, like, their distance is for a near miss. Like, what threshold they consider to be near. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's... Go to the wrong side of the... Yes, I know. Oh, come on. <gasps> no, no, no. I was like, no, you don't. <laughs> no way. Only three more to go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This truck will count. Good. Oh, these buses might count. Yes. Yes. Excuse me. <laughs> it's so weird doing these with just one person, like just one car. Like, it's a free drive challenge, and I am on the right side of the road. I was like... It's like, go on the right side of the road. I was like, I am on the right side of the road. There's really like a couple of different ways you could pull this off. You could do it and be like super civilized. Or you could just pass everybody and not care. Thank God it's cumulative though and not like in one run. If it was in one run, that'd be terrible. Go, 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 go. God, I should have really done, really should have done this on the highway. So if I was doing it on the highway, then we'd have a, m oh God. Come on, out of the way. If I was doing it on the highway, we'd have much more room to actually, you know, to actually, actually drive fast and actually, you know, kind of rack up some distance. But at the same time, at the same time, I feel like it's, I don't know, there, there'd be more traffic on the highway, so it's a trade-off either way. Nope! Excuse me, excuse me, jeez. Stick with it, stick with it, oh dear. Go, 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 go! Sometimes it doesn't even want to stay on the proper side of the road. You'll have to use a perspex card to nail this. Not what I'm doing. Whoa. Oh my god. The bicycle is just like out of here. I literally ejected that bicycle from that yard. Oh dear. Oop. Let's see. Oh, I know. Right to the road. I get it. 
I get it. I know. We only have a little bit more to go, though, thankfully. A little bit more to go for this event. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Rock up a little bit more. Less than 200 yards to go. Less than... Whoa, almost there. Yes. Not too bad. It took a little while, but not too bad. God, how many of these stunts are there? Reach 106 miles an hour for 16 seconds, no crashes. Oh, boy. What I'm wondering is, is it 16 seconds? Oh, hello. What I'm wondering is, is it 16 seconds? I didn't mean to hit you. Is it 16 seconds for, uh, like, cumulative? Or is it 16 seconds, like, as a streak? Ow, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to hit you. I'm sorry. Oh, God, the highways are crowded. Okay, thank God. It's, again, it's cumulative. I must say, a drift spec car was not the right choice for this. <laughs> Waiting for next stunt. Yet again. Wheelie? Uh. Oh, okay. I was about to say, I'm not wheeling the BRZ. Need a straightaway for this. A nice, long straightaway. That's not gone well. That wasn't bad. 165 yards left to go. Problem is, like, trying to balance it, it's really hard to actually, like... To balance it consistently. Second gear is kind of jumpy because it's like you have to brake, weight transfer forward, and then pull back and it wheelies. Oh, sweet! Access pass earned. I will take it. Let's see. Drift for... Um... Ah, uh, this doesn't drift. Yeah, no, this doesn't drift. Mobile garage, thank you very much. The BRZ, however, was built for this. Especially my drift spec one. We can do this on, what, one corner? Not quite one corner, it'd have to be one hell of a long corner. Alright, break. Oh, oh, come on. I was gonna be, that was actually gonna be really cool. I had a plan to go between, like, the van and the pillar. It was gonna be legit. And then, well, and then things weren't so legit after that. Oh, God. It's one of those kind of, I guess, oh, well kind of moments. Oh, come on. Well, that didn't take long. Still wanted to drift that corner, but it didn't really even take long at all. All right, let's see. I guess we can abort it now because we've got... Yes, I do want to abort free drive stunts. Um, and I think we can abort it now because we've got an access pass. Or at least we should. Yes, yes we do. All right, sweet. We've got a waypoint set for the, uh, for the summit qualifier. Oh, dude, I'm excited. I'm really, really, really excited for this. The last Summit Qualifier was a ton of fun, so I almost think the Summit Qualifiers are just as fun, if not more fun, than the actual Summit. Just because they're always changing it up. It's cool, too, because you realize how much detail they actually put into... Making, you know, each section of the world feel like its own unique area. And, I mean, they really did a good job with, like, the Florida areas because it actually kind of does look like Florida. Oh, come on. Traffic. There we go. Oh, get it. Not bad. 
Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Down a goal. Oh, not bad at all. That was legit. Yes, I know. Shut up about your performance spec. I get it. I'm headed to the Summit Qualifier. Not dealing with your crap. Oh, okay. Gets a little off-roady here. Not what the BRZ was built for. Oh, God. Holy crap. It's actually quite... It's quite cool out here, but... You... Oh, no. I don't want to get... Yeah. Yeah, that was a thing. We may have submarined the BRZ. Dang, it's quite a ways back here. They really stick this thing out in the middle of nowhere. Alright, give it a nice run across the bridge. A little jump. Oh, I can see it. I can see, like, the edge of the, uh, the edge of the summit. Oh, you kind of have to go through the water anyway. Oh, dear. Oh, God, this is like the swamp map in spin tires. That's insane. Come on. Oh, God. Why? What? What's the point of that? It just goes out into the middle of the freaking water. We're now here. Time to go ahead and enter the summit qualifier. Let's do this. Get this done. Dude, some of these cars are sweet. All right, well, if you guys enjoyed this episode of the Crew Wild Run, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.